Hello, it's Tuesday the 28th of April and welcome to this abbreviated form of morning prayer. I'm Peter Mumford, married to Sarah, who's got the camera at the moment and you'll hear from her in a few minutes. We're both members of St Stephen's. So um, we begin then with a time of silence as we focus on God, our Father and our Creator. special prayer for today. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So we come to a time of confession. John writes, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth isn't in us. But if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So let's confess our sins. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and we repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you desired not the death of sinners, but rather that we may turn from our wickedness and live. Have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sin. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. When life is tough at times, <coughs> turning to the Psalms can lift us up. David, when going through tough times, would remind himself of God's goodness. So let's do that as we read from Psalm 33. Sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvellous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp. And, and the harp and the sound of singing. With trumpets and blasts of the ram horn, shout for joy before the Lord the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. Amen. If you're able to join with me then uh, with the words of the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue our reading from the beginning of Luke's Gospel, Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. 
But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. And then the angel left her. Time of prayer. God, we come before you with praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for this lovely weather that we've had. It lifts our spirits. We want to thank you for all the answers of prayer that we've had. And for the amazing commitment of our key workers, of all the medics, all the carers. And we want to thank you that you've promised to be with us. You've gone before us. You know our future. You are our refuge. We ask, Lord, that you would heal our land and heal all those known to us who are ill. And we pray for wisdom for our politicians and the scientists to know the next phase. We pray also for our Christian brothers and sisters in countries where it's tough anyway to be a Christian, and now there's sickness, which means loss of work and no food. Come to their aid, please, Lord, and prompt us to be generous. We pray that you would pour out your blessing on our church, our leaders, and our land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we conclude our prayers with the words that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen. Amen.